San Diego leaders and experts are spreading the word about the dangers of fentanyl. Now today, they stood alongside the father of a local high school student who died from the drug. And Fox 5's Misha DeBono has more from Claremont. He was popular, athletic, handsome, funny, and active in the community. The father of 18-year-old Kai Adelsob, who died of fentanyl poisoning in July, shares his grief and a powerful message about the deadly consequences of fentanyl. Kai was found on the 14th of July, right after we woke up. His 12-year-old sister was the one who first saw him. Kai had passed after being poisoned by fentanyl and then inducing a seizure in his sleep. They're sharing Kai's story in hopes of saving other lives after he unknowingly ingested what he thought was Percocet, bought on Instagram. Kai was a good, kind kid, never really got into any trouble and always focused on his sports and academics and wasn't known as a partier. 2,100 people died from accidental overdose last year in San Diego County, more than half due to fentanyl. Most had no idea they were ingesting the colorless, odorless, and tasteless deadly substance. Each week, the equivalent of a classroom of students dies of overdoses across this country. And most of the young victims ingest fentanyl accidentally and unknowingly, thinking they are taking something much less dangerous. Dr. Angela Husky is the chief clinical officer for Millennium Health. She was joined by United States Congressman Scott Peters and others at Mesa College Tuesday as students head back to school to get the word out and get resources into the hands of those that need them. Parents, the new drug dealer is a smartphone. Children, teens and young adults can get pills delivered to them via social media as easily as ordering an Uber. And she says a lethal dose of fentanyl is equivalent in size to a few grains of salt. According to the DEA, 60% of counterfeit pills contain a potentially lethal dose. It's impossible to know which pills will be deadly. And the and pills in the same batch can have varying degrees of fentanyl in them. Kai was six weeks away from starting a full ride wrestling scholarship at Iowa State. His parents talked to him about drugs and alcohol and concerns of fentanyl. They even had Narcan at the house. The guy who poisoned our son knew the pill was counterfeit and laced with fentanyl. Our son never tried it before. Somebody was greedy enough to knowingly deceive our son just to make $8 that ended up killing the greatest young man that I've ever met. So the message is really clear. It's about bringing awareness and starting a conversation about the deadly consequences of fentanyl, making sure that everywhere, everyone has access to Narcan and also fentanyl strips to be able to test whatever it is a young person might be ingesting. Also, if you would like to help the family of Kai, there is a memorial fund set up. We'll have that on our website at fox5sandiego.com. Just click on the Scene On tab. From outside Mesa College, Misha Bono. Fox 5 News.